so it is a uh, shockingly warm day here in D.C. Um, we are in for an ass ton of snow this week, so thankfully I was able to get out and get a little bit of spinning in before, uh, before the nasty, nasty, nasty white stuff started coming down. And I'm glad that it did, because I actually made a fun discovery today while I was playing around with 3-ploy, which, hooray, my calluses are finally built back up. My, uh, my blisters are gone, and I'm able to finally do stuff again. So, this right here is a move that Chris Kelly was doing in a video months ago, and that um, I edited into the top 10 video this year in Chris Kelly's place. And it's a nifty little thing that you could actually do with uh, each hand, wherein you're doing uh, essentially a cap one way, and then a point isolation going the other way. Um, I thought it looked cool as hell in the video that Chris put together, and of course I spent a bunch of time getting it down today. Uh, and then I started workshopping some, uh, some tribrids because I'm going to be teaching classes on these in the next few months and came across one that I really, really dug, although it is an absolute pain in the ass to synchronize up. And it's simply to take that combo where you're going uh, cap to point isolation and synchronizing it up with a static spin, right? Um, so first I should note, in order to make that one-handed uh, cap to point isolation work, you're essentially starting off from a butterfly right here, and as the pinky end poi is on its way up, you kind of stop it just for one second, and work your hand over it, and then pull up once you get to the other side, and resume that together time opposite butterfly feel, right? It's actually not that difficult to get down. Well, what is difficult to get down is the timing of synchronizing it with something else namely a poi that is going static spin, right? So the way I want to work this is I want to synchronize up that, uh, that point isolation with the moment that my uh, static spin poi is going over the top. So it creates a nice straight line, like so. And of course, as everybody knows, this is what I love about hybrids, the fact that they create nice, cool straight lines for us. Um, I don't know if I can give you a key to getting this down right now. I pretty much just start off, so it, it will be going the same direction uh, as your thumb poi, and I suppose you could go the opposite direction if you so chose, and create a much different image that way. In which case, uh, as the poi is going over, it should synchronize up with uh, the cap end of this pattern right here. So you would then have a opposites together kind of feel to it, <clears throat> like, whew. Yeah, they tend to run into each other a lot as you're doing this. Oops. Like so, where you do opposites, and then together, opposites, and then together. And that gives you that nice kind of feel of doing almost like a, a Mercedes uh, against both an extension and a static spin, which there will be a video for that coming up too, as soon as I have it stable. Um, and then if you go the other direction, of course, you create that beautiful little line right there, whoops, between that static spin hand, or poi, excuse me, and the pinky end poi. Wow. There we go. Um, problems I tend to have with this. Number one are getting that pinky end poi to calm down enough to really be uh, in that point isolation -y kind of place. And the best way I can say to get over that is really to reach your hand up as you're doing this. The one downside to this is that it tends to like flick against my elbow a little bit as I'm going up and over and giving it more momentum than I want, really want it to have. Um, so you're just going to have to experiment and see what works best for you there. Woo. And, of course, the ever-present tangles that always happen in 3-poi. Um, to avoid those, you're really looking to make sure that that thumb side orange poi always stays in front of your green side uh, pinky end poi as you're reaching the left-hand side of this figure. That is that side. And that will keep those awful tangles at bay, hopefully. So, yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. Um, I'm always a fan of interesting lines, so this struck me as one such line. Hope you guys dig it too. Anyhow, 
Thank you all for watching, and I will be back with more fun tech for you guys next week. Thanks and peace. Hi, thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Doing so will help other people find my content, and it lets me know that I'm creating videos that are worth seeing. Also, check out my website at drexfactor.com. There, you can purchase sets of poi like the ones I use in my videos, and get access to a great range of written inspirational content. Plus which, you can subscribe to my videos there in the form of a podcast. Finally, if you go to flowtoys.com, you can enter in my special promo code and get a small discount on your order. Doing these things helps support me in my flow journey, and it means that I can make more videos for you guys. So, thank you in advance for your support.